On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be looking at the Iron Man 2 concept series. We're going to be looking at the Iron Man Stark Racing Armor. Concept series I've totally avoided in this entire line. I, I'm not a fan of repaints whatsoever, unless they were in the movie. And one of the, this is one of the only few times that I would want to have picked up a figure that's obviously just a same mold as a existing figure, and they've just repainted it slightly. This is actually the only time I would have done that. And we'll get into the reasons why, of course, as I open this up. But uh, package-wise, we've got Iron Man 2 up at the top, or Iron Man, the uh, I guess the Mark VI armor up at the top there. Comes with uh, three armor cards and a figure stand included. So there you go. On the back of the package, um, the other figures in the concept series, we've got Iron Man Mark V stealth armor, we've got War Machine munitions armor, and we've got Iron Man uh, hot zone armor. And the read-up says every technologist in the world dreams of outdoing Tony Stark. In order to encourage competition, he holds an annual event in which he matches his stri striped-down racing armor against all comers in a series of speed and combat trials. He never lost, but every year he looks forward to the challenge. So there you go. That's packaging on the Stark racing armor. What we're going to do is we're going to get this open up and we will have ourselves a better look at the figure. So stay tuned guys, there is much more to come. Alright, of course before we look at the figure itself, well, excuse me just for a second Tony, I'm just going to pull out your stack overlay card. As you can see we've got uh, a head. It seems really faded. Is it me? Seems a little faded. Certainly it's not as bright as the legs are. For a second I actually thought it was backwards, but as you can see it's not. Well, you can't see that, but it is is—it is not backwards. It is extremely faint, though. We've got ourselves legs, two arms and a head, and we've got ourselves the torso. It's a fun game of mix and match. You can take the existing Iron Man figures that you have. There goes Tony. He's fallen asleep. I don't blame you. I mean, how exciting do these cards get after so many reviews? But you can put them in the display stand. Certainly make this unique from the other display stands you have because this display span stand is the exact same as the other ones. Of course, uh, leaving out a name completely. Just put that aside. And let's have a look at the racing armor. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not a fan of repaints. Unless, unless it's justified. Uh, case in point, it's not really relevant to Iron Man, of course, but... Case in point, uh, the Seekers, the Seeker Jets from Transformers, would be a good example of a, a repaint worth picking up, uh, because of course each Seeker is a different character. Um, the Iron Man, certainly if you've collected the Iron Man 2 figures, there is loads of repaints. Loads and loads and loads of repaints. In fact, if I bring this guy over, I'll bring in the Iron Man Mark VI. And as you can see, it's the exact same figure. There's nothing different whatsoever to it other than just a repaint itself. So, same figure, exact same figure. So, Spot, why would you have picked this figure up? Well, for one thing, you know, the Stark, I guess the Stark race, you know, the outfit that he wears in the, in the movie, yeah, I could kind of maybe say, okay, he might have had Tony's, you know, a bit of a businessman kind of, you know, always trying to market his stuff. So maybe at some point he would have maybe had a Stark racing armor. Um, it kind of matches his suit that he wears in the movie when he's racing. Um, but, the, I mean, really the main reason is that it's not a silly neon color you know, where you've just added stuff like yellow and green and stuff like that. It's just a really nice metallic blue with some metallic silver, and we've got some really nice black. I mean, look at it. It's really, really nice. 
So this is probably one of the only times that I would personally pick up a figure that is simply just a repaint, but is not in it in the movie or or a show or anything like that. Uh, this this is really really nice. Um, we've got Stark on the sleeve there. We also got Stark on the upper torso. Pretty much Stark everywhere. We've got Stark on the torso on the upper torso. Uh, we've got Stark Industries on the left side there. Uh, we've got S. He's he's branded everywhere. Uh, we've got Stark, Stark, S. Um, the paint is really clean, which I like too. Um, there's a little bit of red just above his eye there that looks like it's been uh, mis mispainted. I've also got a little bit of paint that's worn off the back here. Um, but despite that, I really like the look of this figure. Um, I find also his joints um, are a lot are better corrected at least. Let me just bring in the Mark VI here. I found I had the hardest time with some of these Iron Man figures to get their legs just right. You kind of have to tweak around the joints just to get the legs just to sit right. As you can see, I've still, I have still still don't have this leg perfect. But you got to have to adjust you have to adjust the ball joint just in the right area to straighten out the leg. So this Mark VI is a little wonky. Whereas I find this particular Iron Man, all the stuff, all the joints, everything sits straight. I mean, certainly that's no reason to pick up a figure, it's just because something sits straight. But I think the main reason is just because the paint is really nice on this figure. Um, he also has a firing missile as a gimmick. Of course, I don't know why I forgot it. Oh yeah, because it's not interesting. It does fire. Um, again, way too big, I think, to put on Iron Man. So th these kind of things I don't put on the figures. I just put them aside. Maybe I bag them up, put them away. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me too, but I also find the black sleeves also kind of remind me of Robocop. No, maybe not. Um, but the Stark armor. In the way of his articulation, he has the movement... All the way around. Nothing can't really move him up and down though, which is the only downside. Unless it's stiff. Uh, maybe a little bit. Not really a lot. Um, his arms can move out. You can rotate them fully around. You can rotate. You can bend at the elbow. Um, you can rotate at the hand. You can rotate at the upper torso. Uh, the legs can bend out. The legs can bend out. You can rotate at the thigh. You can bend at the knee. And you can also bend at the foot and also rotate it. Despite the fact that this armor isn't in the movie, despite the fact it's obviously just a cash-in repaint, um, I still really like this figure. And if you were ever to get a non-movie tie-in figure that's just a repaint, I think this guy is the one to go with. Um, the Stark Racing armor, I am going to give a, I'm going to give a 6.5 to. Um, if you already have this guy I wouldn't say necessarily pass on him just because he's a repaint because you will find at least I found that he is a really neat looking figure to have on display so today's toy spot we were looking at the Iron Man 2 concept series we we're looking at the Stark racing armor somewhat of a justified repaint of a figure and a suit that doesn't really exist but then again it's concept series so these kind of suits can exist. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time.